When Bill Muncy arrived at the Columbia River in Washington in 1977, he had five gold cups to his credit. One more and he would break Gar Wood's 56-year-old record for the most gold cup victories by an individual. The Blue Blaster had been winning throughout the season and was running in top form. But Muncy wasn't about to take any chances. So as he approached the starting line, he pulled an old favorite maneuver. All right, now the boats are beginning to make their move. They're starting to come down the stretch. All but Muncy and his Atlas Van Lines U1. I don't even see Bill. Wait a minute, there he is trailing the pack. He's way behind. In fact, Muncy may be out of it. Muncy better hurry if he's going to catch him. As they approach the starting line, some of the drivers are starting to hold back. Remember, it could be that some have started to make their move too soon. But here comes Muncy. Man, I want to tell you, he is flying. If he can hit that starting line just right, it's going to be way on his way to the victory. He's going to leave everybody else in his rooster tail. And he does. Here he comes. He is flying. Look at Bill Muncy. It's incredible. It looks like everyone else Muncy's move at the start earned him a lead that he held throughout the race. In his first lap, he averaged 122 miles per hour, accelerating out of the corners in a matter of seconds. At the finish line, Muncy enjoyed his finest hour, a return to glory and a sixth gold cup to ascend to the rank of the legendary Gar Wood.